What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today, a big box good. The Nautica Men's Jogger in Kelvin Navy I picked up at Marshalls for $29.99. Today, an overview, comparison, and try on. Let's compare this, of course, to the Nike Men's Venture Runner at Dick Sporting Goods a year ago. And also, three months ago, we did a giveaway, the Men's Alpine Merrill Sneaker, both in terms of style and fit so the nike men's venture runner a year ago at dick sporting goods was just a bit tight i remember let's see just how good of a job this does at comforting the foot supporting the foot how good it, how good it feels on the foot and with a pair of jeans maybe style it up uh, it's got the look and for 30 dollars this would be a great option maybe to travel in or if someone you know or love is in need of a new sneaker this is a good gift option and but most importantly let's compare this style wise to the alpine sneaker for men by merrill which does look and have sort of a similar fit and finish uh, with the leather and alcantara and also the similar shade of color the alpine merrill sneaker for men was dark navy blue. This is sort of a royal navy blue. So let's go ahead and figure out the differences. Uh, just take a closer look at the fit and finish compared to the Merrill and also try it on at the end and compare it to the Nike, which I remember being just a bit tight for a size 11. This because it is also a size 11, should make for an interesting review. Okay, let's go ahead and get into this first impressions overview and comparison. Now, first impressions and going into this review, a main concern of mine is not the fit and finish necessarily. It's a $30 shoe or sneaker. Don't expect the finish to be perfect. But my main concern is because it's a size 11, I tend towards an 11 and a half. And remembering from the way the Nike fit at a size 11, just a tad small, because this is a second grade item being second that is behind the Nike Venture Runner, which is the classic design. Thinking back actually, compared to the Nike Venture Runner at a size 11, which was just slightly small on my foot, slightly narrow on my foot. My main concern is at $29.99, not fit and finish, but the way the shoe fits. At a size 11, perhaps a size 12 would have been the more appropriate size, even though with some brands I can wear a size 11 or 11 and a half, again, not worried about the fit and finish at $30. Instead, the sizing of the shoe is what I am concerned about. Mainly at $30, a shoe like this, a second grade shoe, like I said, no issues right off the bat with fit and finish. More importantly though, is sizing at this price point. So how this compares to the size 11 Nike Venture Runner will be important, it will be key and also how well this shoe fits at $30. After all, shopping at Marshalls today, they did not have a size 12. In a past review, we can also compare this to the Merrill Alpine sneaker at Dillard's for $100. Not necessarily the design, but the material. So of course, at the top, nylon, it's spongy, it's soft, breathable, a little bit on the cheaper looking and feeling side, more in line with the shoe of this price range, but also Alcantara or maybe a grain leather, probably not real, but the texture feels just as similar, if not the same as what you would find on the Merrill Alpine sneaker. And also the color I think is just slightly more rich than it is dark on the Alpine sneaker. So both shoes, navy blue, both Alcantara suede leather 
and mesh and also similar at the sides and also the flat laces just like on the Alpine sneaker but mainly here the material is what I wanted to point out it's pretty much the same looks good feels good but like I said just a hint of skepticism during this review so probably not real now making this shoe at $30 unique is the way it's styled shiny soft shiny soft let me explain exactly what that means shiny can refer to the soft sided leather at the side of the shoe with the nautical logo as you can see navy blue and brown soft leather patchwork make this shoe stand out the cherry on the top of the shoe to be specific soft like i said the next style point is of course having to do with the alcantara which wraps around the front of the shoe wraps around the laces is at the side of the shoe and wraps around the heel of the shoe the reason why i compare the alcantara to the leather patchwork at the side is because alcantara and leather are exactly the same just different finish of course you get leather patchwork at the back behind the heel so shiny again soft again and then last but most importantly not least the second class of material cotton which as you can see is largely incorporated into the mesh upper which is shiny it's bright and then soft once more with cotton laces which as you can see are darker and softer than the bright shiny blue mesh at the top of the shoe like i said what gives this shoe or what makes it unique compared to other shoes in this price and class range is its style shiny soft shiny soft all three shoes including of course the nautica the merrill and the nike venture runner harken back to the same classic iconic sneaker look with the suede leather alcantara they incorporate uh, mesh which is a fairly new feature but the flat laces it's classic it's almost throwback or retro looking in a way that being said each of which fit differently because they are different brands but like i said let's actually compare the fit to the nike venture runner and the style and design to the merrill so i think it looks similar to the merrill because it uses similar materials the Nike Venture Runner though is actually narrower. So reviewing the Nike Venture Runner a year ago, I remember it being tight in the front of the foot, perhaps even at the top of the foot, but mainly in the bed of the shoe, it was tight. At the middle of the foot and at the front of the foot, I found that it squeezed the middle and pinched the front ever so slightly. That shoe, I recommended going a size or maybe a half size further. That was mainly to do because my foot is wider than normal. Uh, this shoe actually has a wider tract than the Nike Venture Runner, making it more accommodating to people who have wider feet, such as myself. So uh, that being said, I think you'll notice here in a clip that I've placed over, trying these on and actually wearing them out, I use the shoe without a sock. And that's because a thick sock maybe by Under Armour or Nike again this is more of a dress shoe it's not for working out or cross training or jogging this is a jogger but I think that implies it's meant to be worn with a jogger pant perhaps not the first shoe I would choose to train in though you could but I think if this were something you would run in You'd want it true to size, but I think had I worn this with a thicker sock, it would have been uncomfortable. Uh, so without a sock, it was extremely comfortable, very easy to dress up. I found that the mesh was breathable. It was lightweight. It kept my foot dry. There's hardly an odor left over from when I wore it earlier. 
And most importantly, if you need a sock, go for something thin like an ankle sock, not necessarily an athletic sock like from Nike or Adidas or Under Armour, which might be thick and insulate the foot well and provide extra cushion. I think, like I said, that would be too tight of a squeeze, so go for something a little bit thinner, like something as thin as a dress sock. You can find them at Dillard's. Okay, so it compares in style and design to the Merrill. Of course, the Merrill being more expensive, it uses premium materials and has a nicer finish overall. And how it compares to the Nike Venture Runner is in terms of sizing. This accommodates a wider foot. I found this to be far more comfortable than the Nike Venture Runner, but then again, the Nike Venture Runner is just a little bit different. It's a little bit narrower. So it follows the classic iconic sneaker jogger look a little bit more closely. This I think is meant to accommodate a wider audience, uh, myself included, making it just a tad bit more comfortable. So, but with the Nike Venture Runner, like I said, a size 11, go for a size or half size up. This though, you can buy and wear true to size or at least closer to true to size, I think. Anyways guys, that has been a first impressions, comparison, overview of the Nautica Men's Jogger Kelvin Navy Sneaker at Marshalls for $30 today. Of course, in a size 11, I can wear a size 11 just as long as the sock is not thick to the point where it causes the sneaker to bulge. A thinner sock, like a dress sock type of sock maybe, but for just around the ankle would be perfect for this shoe. It is a navy blue, so keep in mind wearing it during the day, not available at Marshalls in a lighter color. It does come in red from what I believe, but more perhaps of a nighttime shoe uh, than a daytime shoe. Uh, one rule of thumb on this channel, light colors during the day, dark colors at night. Uh, we saw them with a pair of jeans, they look phenomenal. We also compared this to the Nike Venture Runner, which a year ago in a size 11 was just a bit tight. This being a size 11 made for an interesting comparison, I think, because of course it has the similar look, but we found that it's a wider tract, still looks similar design-wise, but because of its wider tract, was able to accommodate my wider foot, which in the Nike Venture Runner felt just a bit squeezed, which was my main concern because shopping for these at Marshalls a couple of days ago, they did not have a size 12, only the size 11 and smaller sizes. So good news here for $30. This is an extremely competent shoe. One thing I forget to mention, which I normally do mention, is the foot orthotic in the footbed of the shoe. This one stays in the shoe. It's not removable, unfortunately, so no potential to upgrade from the foot orthotic to a more custom or more cushiony or comfortable foot orthotic. Though, even though without a sock, I found this pretty supportive and very comfortable, actually. It was breathable, it was lightweight, it's flexible. It is a jogger, perhaps not ideal maybe for working out, but I think it would work. So with that being said, good all around, surprisingly good, just as good, good to go. Pick this up for a quick weekend vacation or in a pinch if you need just a pair of decent sneakers and or maybe you're not someone who wears sneakers that often such as myself with that being said good quality sneaker comparable i think to the nike men's venture runner in terms of the way you wear it even though this accommodates a bit of a wider foot but also similar in style not quite as good of a finish but like i said similar to that of the alpine sneaker for men by merrill that was three months ago at Dillard's. Check it out. All good options here. My name is John. Thanks again so much for tuning in. Today you witnessed a first impressions comparison overview, a test try. 
My name is John. If you want more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment below if you have an experience you'd like to share or have a question or comment about this item or other items. My name is John. Thanks again so much for tuning in. Hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notified when I post to YouTube and share this video with friends and family. My name is John. Thanks again so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next video.